In school, you likely heard that Thomas Edison created the light bulb. But did you know that it was Louis Latimer, a son of formerly enslaved people, who patented the filament that ensured light bulbs didn't die after a few days? And that's just one example of how African Americans have improved our current lives, yet you don't hear much about it. Well, there are many inventions that are created by black people or related to patents of black people. It was hard to choose just five for this video, as the list of inventions goes on and on. It is truly undervalued how much we have contributed and how many inventions we have created that became everyday products we still use today. Matter of fact, you're using technology created by a black man right now. It's the fifth on the list, so stay with me till the end. The reason you can check who's at your door through your smartphone is because of a black woman named Marie Van Britten Brown. Marie Van Britten Brown was a nurse who lived in Queens, New York. She and her husband worked irregular hours, which resulted in Marie being often home by herself at night. In the 1960s, the crime rate in the neighborhood was at an all-time high, and whenever she came back from her night shifts, she always felt unsafe. Calling the police during those times in their neighborhood was a waste of time as the cops always responded late. She wanted to know who was outside her home and feel more secure. So, she decided to develop a solution to alleviate her worries. Employing her husband's electrical skills, Marie developed a system that consisted of four peepholes, a sliding video camera, two-way microphones, and television monitors. The sliding camera and peepholes ensured that you were able to view people of different heights. The system also included a remote control that allowed her to unlock the door, and an emergency button that contacted the police straight away. The design was so intricate, and showed how much thought Marie had put into the security system. She patented the design by 1969, and started reaching out to manufacturers to go bigger. However, she never got to see her idea come to life as manufacturers believed her idea was too expensive to install. Marie died in 1999, at the age of 76, and even if her idea never came to fruition, it was used as an example in more than 30 other patent applications. It paved the way for companies like Amazon and Google to develop home security systems. Marie was far ahead of her time. The home security industry is now worth $4.8 billion, and she is not the only black person that has paved the way for today's businesses. Back in the summer of 1938, a man named Joseph A. Numero was about to create a system that would revolutionize the shipping and grocery industries. Joseph was out with a friend who had his business in the shipping industry. While playing golf, Joseph's friend received a disturbing call. Apparently, he had just lost a whole carload of chickens. The truck that was shipping the chickens took longer than it was supposed to and the chickens overheated. Joseph did not hesitate and took the problem to his partner and engineer, Frederick McKinley Jones. Joseph's goal was to develop a refrigerated truck that could keep goods fresher for longer, making shipping across countries possible. And so they did. Frederick developed a small, durable unit with a compressor that would be mounted under the trailer to dispel cool air. It was powered by a powerful four-cylinder engine that ensured that food and other perishables stayed cool while being transported. Understand that this is back in 1937, when refrigerators at home were not yet that common. Nevertheless, Joseph and Frederick developed and patented their design, and together they developed and marketed it as the Thermo King the world's first automatic refrigeration system for trucks and railroad cars. As a result, grocery chains were able to import and export products that previously only could have been shipped if it were canned goods. It transformed not only these shipping and grocery industries, but also Americans' eating habits, as the frozen food industry was born. And for the first time ever, consumers were able to enjoy fresh foods from around the globe. Eventually, Thermo King controlled close to half of the global market for refrigeration equipment and was sold for over $2 billion in 1997. And remember, this all started with Joseph Numero playing golf with his friend. Now, the next man was truly an innovator. With at least five successfully filed patents, Philip Bell Downing discovered needs and fulfilled it, just like many great inventors. As the son of abolitionist George T. Downing and entrepreneur Serena L. DeGrasse, and the grandson of Thomas Downing, a key player in the United Anti-Slavery Society of the City of New York, young Philip was exposed to many influential leaders throughout his life. He and his family often relocated, and that is where he received inspiration to create something that changed Americans' lives on a daily basis. Perhaps it is no longer that relevant anymore, with the use of emails and text messages. Nevertheless, Philip paved the way and provided a long-term solution to mailing named the street letter box, or what we know now as a mailbox. Living in the 19th century, if you wanted to send a letter, you had to travel to the post office. There was no other way around it, and Philip noticed that in every city he lived, they had the same problem. You had to travel long distances, and there could be delays due to bad weather. Urgent mail? You had to hope that it would arrive on time. 
bad weather. If you really needed to send something, there was no way around it but to just travel through rain, storms, or snow. Observing this problem, Philip Downing saw a gap in his process and developed the outdoor mailbox in 1891. The mailbox was constructed of metal and had four legs. It featured a self-closing hinged door to keep the mail secured and also safe from bad weather like snow and rain. Philip's invention allowed nearby drop-offs and pickups for both letter carriers and mailers. It even kept the mail secure, as he included a safety feature that only allowed postal employees to pick it up. He patented the design and provided a long-term solution to mailing. Although the mailing system has now become more technologically inclined, it is another example of black creativity that is seen in everyday objects, and it did not stop with the mailbox. Ever drove through a yellow signal quickly before it turned red? If you did, did you know that a black man just saved you from an accident? Well, in the 20th century, there was a man that became a true hero, even though it was greatly overlooked due to racism. His legacy and inventions could fill an entire video, but he invented one everyday object that is still saving lives till this day. As the first black man in Cleveland to own a car in the early 1920s, Garrett Morgan witnessed a horrific accident between an automobile and a horse-drawn car at an intersection. At the time, traffic signals only had two positions, stop and go. Garrett improved this by including a third position, all hold. This later became the amber light, or yellow signal we have today. In 1923, he patented the three-position traffic signal and soon sold the idea to General Electric for $40,000, which would now be approximately $610,000. Even though it was an improvement to an already existing invention, the lives Garrett has saved with this and all his other inventions makes him a true African-American trailblazer. Did you know that when you use your phone's mic, a black person was behind the technology? In 1960, Dr. James E. West worked at Bell's lab and was tasked to develop a mic that was better than the condenser microphone that was being used back then. After much research together with his colleague Gerard Sessler, the foil electric microphone was created. This microphone was cheaper to develop and did not require the use of a battery. Two years after it was invented, it was also patented. In a matter of time, the mic was in wide production and used in hearing aids and baby monitors. Over time, it became the preferred kind of mic and right now, it's in your phone. There are many things developed by black people because creativity and innovation lies in our blood. These were just a handful of inventions and nearly represents how much black people have contributed in technology, everyday products, and other inventions. As you go about your day, look around and you'll find that at least two in every five things that is the brainchild of a black inventor. Let me know in the comments what stood out for you the most. Perhaps you have a suggestion for the next video. Nevertheless, make sure to subscribe to this channel to learn all about black history and culture. Thank you for watching.